The president's address came as he remains under pressure by many in the Arab American and Muslim community to either call for a permanent ceasefire in Gaza or lose their support in the election. CBS News Detroit's Terrell Bailey joins us live after watching the address with some of those voters. So Terrell, what did they think? Yeah, hey there. Good evening, Shana. So all eyes on President Biden tonight. The war overseas in Gaza also playing a role in the State of the Union address. So I'm live here in Dearborn where a watch party wrapped up about 30 to 45 minutes ago. The group hosting that watch party abandoned Biden. So we know the war overseas. It's been a pretty big talking point for many Arab Americans across our country. Many of them say come November, they'll be remembering the president's handling of the war at the ballot. Shana, so for weeks, the president has gotten criticized over his handling of this war. Just a few weeks ago, the president sent members of his administration here to figure out a way to ease tensions between Arab Americans, Muslims and Washington. Then the uncommitted voters also making their message clear in Dearborn and Hamtramck during the recent primary election that took place. So nearly 45 minutes into President Biden's speech today, he mentioned the war. The president announced a U.S. military pier that will go into the Mediterranean for aid to residents in Gaza. Still, though, Shana, for, for attendees at tonight's watch party, they say they expected more from the president. Take a listen. Dropping the aid in Gaza is, that's a for all. That's a desperate cry for votes. That's a desperate cry for, I'm doing good. You know, I am a humanitarian too. Even though, until today, I am still supplying uh, weapons to kill innocent civilians. His rhetoric is improving compared to what he was talking about or what he was saying in October and November. So the pressure from the civil society in the United States and all over the world is paying off. All I've heard is a lot of what he wants to do. I haven't really heard any plans. There's nothing really definitive that I've heard from him. So far, I'm disappointed. Lots of people telling us they're overall disappointed with some of the president's message at the State of the Union address tonight. So we do know that there are about 100,000 uncommitted voters that voted during the primary election here in Michigan. So Shana, just talking with folks inside this business behind me, they tell me they're actually expecting for those numbers for uncommitted voters to be even higher, potentially come November. Shana, we're live in Dearborn tonight. Terrell Bailey, CBS News, Detroit. A very important voting block that he cannot ignore. Thank you, Terrell.